morning. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Wanted to drop in here today and have a conversation with you guys about what makes a woman want to commit to you. You know, and I wanted to make this video because I know in the modern dating game, there's a lot of guys out there that are expressing this fear that if they express to a woman that they want a long-term commitment, that she's going to view him as a beta male or, you know, she's going to lose attraction to him. She's going to think he's boring or something of that nature. I don't want to help you guys conquer those fears. You know, there's honestly, there's a few dating coaches out there that seem to have this fear, you know, and I want to be sort of a, a beacon of hope for some of you guys out there. And let me also say that I'm not trying to upsell you guys on some program. You know, I'm not trying to strike some sort of, uh, you know, enticing sales pitch here so I can convince you guys to buy something. That's that's not what I do here. You know, I simply like to come on here. I'm a, I'm a people person. I like to give advice to people. I like to reach people. I like to help people. That's all I like to do. So those are my only intentions here. Now, you know, like I said, there's a fear that's going around right now with a lot of young men, you know, and they have this idea that modern women are out partying and wanting to have a good time. And, you know, they're basically just out there hooking up with, you know, the quote unquote alpha males. And they're attracted to men that just want to, you know, pump them and dump them, so to say. But there's a lot of men out there that are uh, looking for something a little deeper. Right, they want to uh, have a relationship. Maybe they want to get married. And I understand marriage right now isn't the the greatest idea, but you know, there's a lot of men out there that want to settle down and start families and, and have good lives. And that's uh, you know, that's not a bad thing. For thousands of years, your bloodline has continued to reproduce because the men in your family have made that decision. And uh, you know, I don't think it's a wise decision for you to be the one that ends that uh, tradition, you know, that that stops that bloodline from existing. I think you should uh, keep it going. So anyways, uh, first of all, let's start by saying, you know, this idea that expressing commitment to a woman is going to turn her off and make her less attracted to you. You know, by itself, it's just fundamentally incorrect, and it's, it's a stupid idea. You know, honestly, it's more of a litmus test. If a woman has very little desire to be with you, and you express interest and commitment, she's probably going to leave. You know, but uh, if a woman is interested in being with you, and she really likes you a lot, and you express interest and commitment, she's going to be thrilled about it. And... Uh, to be honest, there's a lot of women out there that don't settle for anything less than commitment. So if you're one of those guys that thinks, well, I'm going to run around and be an alpha male and just pump and dump all these girls, and then you come across one that you kind of like, but you're under this impression that if you settle down and show a softer side of yourself, that she's going to lose attraction to you, well, you're probably going to uh, screw your own relationship up. You know, eventually she's going to say, all right, this guy is more focused on, you know, trying to look macho and it, it's a fake act. You know, he's not he's not willing to settle down. He has some sort of crisis going on in his own head. So I'm going to leave him. And then you'll sit there and watch your girlfriend leave you for a beta male. <laughs> and in your mind, that's how you'll justify it. But we've seen this happen a million times. You see that real pretty 21, 22, 23 year old girl, no kids. You know, all these alpha males are trying to get at her. And then eventually, you see her three years later, she's married, she has two kids. And you look at the husband and you're like, wow, that guy's kind of a beta male. That could have been me in that position. You know, that's how a lot of guys view it. And you see this happen all the time. So, you know, don't let, don't let a lot of this uh, modern dating advice strike fear into you because it's just not true. You know, you create your own story. The man of fear doesn't create your story for you. Now, okay, with that being said, I guess there's technically two reasons why a woman will want to commit to a man. There are two 
influences, I should say, that will contribute to a woman wanting to commit to a man. And it really has to do with who she is as a person. Because you do come across a lot of people in this world that are users and abusers. And I don't want to count them out. You know, I don't want to blue pill you guys and make you feel like, you know, the world is all, you know, sweet and peaches and cream and roses. It's not. You know, there are a lot of people out there that have a, a mentality when it comes to friendships or relationships or business partnerships or any of the above that it's all about what can you do for me you know it's all about what can this person provide for me and there are a lot of women out there that have that mentality it's unfortunate but it's true so you know you have to be able to identify that but we don't want to talk about those women you know you should view this stuff as a red flag you should be able to tell and identify a woman that is strictly using you for money and resources it's not hard to, to identify um, and it's also not a wise decision to lead with your looks money and status because those are the types of women you're going to attract so you know think about that but the majority of you guys are going to want to pick this other side you know so it, it does require a little bit of discernment you know and you gotta really think with your head here and also uh, you know go with your gut instinct of what's right and what's wrong because you can typ typically tell when somebody's using you but you know when you have that uh, that wholesome feeling of, of being with somebody that really brings something to your life and makes you feel you know like you've got a complete and balanced life you know that's a whole different deal so the, the second reason why a woman will want to commit to you is, you know, the second type of woman, I should say, is, is the woman that's looking for chemistry, right? And when I talk about chemistry, this is one of those things you may be watching one of those podcasts where you got a couple of high value alpha males uh, debating, you know, some OnlyFans girls or some strippers or some porn stars. And they'll ask these women what they look for, or they'll ask these women not necessarily what they look for, but, you know, they'll ask them about their experiences in dating, and they'll say, well, why'd you leave that guy? And they'll say, well, well, the energy was off. But what do you look for in a man? He just has to have the right vibe, the right energy. You know, and the hosts of the podcast will kind of make fun of the girls. Oh, yeah, right, energy, vibe. Well, what women are talking about when they say this is they are talking about chemistry, you know, let me put this in perspective. On, a, on my day-to-day -day basis, I go outside and I probably see 500 women. Out of those 500 women, there might be 50 or 60 that I'm actually attracted to. Out of that 50 or 60, there might be one or two that I actually have chemistry with. And chemistry is one of those things that it just can't be faked. You can't, you know, you can't generate it on your own. It has to be there. That spark has to be there. And you know it when you see it, you know it when you feel it, and you just know that it's there when it's there. And, you know, it's just one of those situations where you may bump into somebody that's a total stranger, but you instantly feel like you're at home when you're with them. You know, you see their face light up, your face lights up. You know, the body produces these endorphins and things when you're around this person, and you just feel natural. You feel at peace, at ease when you're with this person. You look forward to seeing this person again. You think about this person when they're not around. That's chemistry, you know, and it's not necessarily something that can be faked. Um, could be genetic components that go on. Might have something to do with the way you look or your personality or your intelligence level or your sense of humor or something of that nature, but it typically has to do with something that is exclusive and unique to who you are as a person and something unique and exclusive to who she is as a person you know and the two of you just have that natural connection so that's number one that's chemistry and then when you realize you have chemistry with somebody if you're a single guy out there and you want to uh, escalate things a little bit further you need to ask her out on a date you need to exchange phone numbers you know whatever it is and go spend some time with her because when you realize you have chemistry, the next step is to realize that whether or not you have compatibility. You know, if one of you is career oriented and the other one wants to party all the time or, you know, something of that nature, it's just not going to work. 
No matter how much chemistry you have, you have to be smart enough to say, well, we're just not compatible. But if this person is either compatible with you or they're willing to make adjustments in their life to become compatible with you, then well, now you have a, a good opportunity where you have chemistry, you have compatibility, and now you have a connection. You know, because as human beings, we are hardwired to seek out connections with other people. Men, you know, heterosexual men are hardwired to seek out lifelong connections with heterosexual women, you know, and vice versa. We are just wired that way. So when you have chemistry, compatibility, and connection, well now, you know, you realize this is something here. You know, this is one of those things that out of the, the 500 people I walk past every day, this comes down to the, the top one or two. And now I realize that, uh, you know, there's just something special here. It's, it's one of those, uh, it's, a, it's very unlikely for this to happen percentage wise, but I found it. So, you know, that's when you gotta, you know, confront the issue and, and maybe have one of those conversations that discusses what are we and where do we go from here? You know, a lot of guys have this uh, idea in their head or this, uh, you know, this, maybe maybe it's influenced by society, but they have this, uh, I'm not sure what you call it, this, this just this idea going on in their head that modern women have become masculine and modern men have become feminine. Well, most modern women are masculine enough to confront the issue. If they want commitment, and you're unwilling to give it to them, they're, they're going to confront you on it. And if you don't give it to them, they're going to leave. You know, that should be a masculine trait, but it's not. You know, most men, they're so, uh, most modern men are so feminine that they think they need to act masculine. If you were masculine, you would be okay with slightly acting feminine because you are masculine. You know what I mean? But the problem is a lot of these guys are so insecure, which is a feminine trait, it's a weak trait, um, that they think they have to put on and, and put on this show of being an alpha male. You know, in reality, that's just gonna make you look super weak. And, you know, when it comes to chemistry, it, it really can't be faked. And, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've just seen these bizarre anomalies you know, I'm a guy who is, you know, I, I would say I'm masculine, right? I like lifting heavy weights. I like guns. I like fast cars. I like the outdoors. I used to like to fight when I was younger. I, you know, I was a masculine guy. Um, <clears throat> and one of my good friends was kind of a feminine, a more of an in touch with his feminine side kind of guy. He was heterosexual, but at the same time, he was the kind of guy that would grow his hair long, let his girlfriends paint his nails. Uh, you know, he would, he'd have conversations with women like he was one of the girls, but he was a good friend. And, uh, you know, we knew each other for many, many years. And the women that I would attract were the complete opposite from the women he would attract. I had chemistry with a whole different set of women than the women he had chemistry with. And that's part of what made us good friends. You know, I never had to worry about you know, his girlfriend, uh, you know, me and his girlfriend having a thing or him and my girlfriend having a thing or anything like that. You know, it was never an issue that occurred in my head because the chemistry was what it was, you know, and a big problem that I see with the dating coach and pickup artist community is they're working with a lot of these guys that are, uh, you know, what you could refer to as incels or something of that nature. And these incels think they can somehow create chemistry you know they think well if you say the right thing you can chip away or you know maybe you can slowly uh, grow on her a little bit but you know I just don't think that it's there you know typically that spark that chemistry is unique you know it's just a, a unique I'm not sure what you would call it like a human compatibility mating strategy I don't know but usually when that sparks there it's just there and you know almost instantly. Probably one of the uh, most attractive women I've ever went out with. One, really one of the hottest girls I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I uh, used to shop at a place she worked at, and um, <clears throat> I was newly single, and I decided I was going to express some interest in her because she was really good looking. We exchanged phone numbers and social medias and all that, and uh, one day she posted on Facebook that uh, she was wishing somebody would bring her in a sweet tea from a specific uh, restaurant. I know a lot of you guys will call me a simp, but I don't really give a damn. Um, so I went to that restaurant and got an iced tea and I brought it to her. And when I got there, I actually felt like a simp because some other guy had brought her one as well. But it made me feel better when she threw his away and started drinking mine. Anyways, I left that day and she uh, gave me a call and we ended up having a date a couple nights later. It was the 4th of July. We went out to, uh, to a river. We were watching the fireworks. We were drinking beer. And uh, she was sitting there and she was wrapped around my arm, leaning on me. And I uh, just started kissing her. And almost instantly, when we started kissing, I got this strange feeling. It was like I was kissing my sister. It was such a bizarre feeling, and I, I don't know how to explain it, but I realized at that moment, even though this was the hottest girl I've ever laid eyes on, we had no chemistry. We had no chemistry whatsoever, so I was never going to be into that relationship. And, you know, I ended up, uh, she parked at my house, and we drove my car, but on the way back, I uh, ended up telling her, you know, I had to get up early in the morning, so, you know, I didn't invite her inside. You know, it was one of them type of nights. And on the other hand, I've met girls in the line at, you know, grocery stores who instantly, the second we, you know, lay eyes on each other, I see her face light up, my face lights up. You know, you just have that feeling going through you. It feels like you know this person. It feels like you can trust this person. And that's chemistry. Um, you know, you just, you can't, uh, you can't fake it. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But like I said, you know, you start with that chemistry and you realize that's something that's special. That chemistry between two people isn't something that you have with everybody. You just don't have that sort of, uh, sort of connection. So anyways, you, you uh, start out with that chemistry. You realize, okay, cool, there's chemistry. You look her in the eyes, you realize, okay, I know she's feeling the same chemistry that I am. It's time for me to be the man and take the lead. So, you know, that's when you ask her out, give her your phone number, and uh, you find out if you have that uh, compatibility, you create that connection, and that's when it's okay to start talking about the future. You know, if you have those three things, I almost guarantee you that she's thinking the same thing that you're thinking, and, you know, it's human nature to want to have those lifelong connections, and it's time to establish that lifelong connection. You know, it is kind of sad that so many men are, are afraid to make that step. You know, they've spent all this time watching these podcasts and, you know, this manosphere stuff, but uh, they don't realize that, that, you know, there's a lot of alpha males out there that are really turning themselves into incels. You know, it's, it's a sad reality, but, you know, maybe not incels, they might still be getting laid, but they're really uh, crippling their own ability to settle down and have a, a well-balanced and meaningful life, you know, and you might be one of those guys. So, you know, when I make these videos, I do my best to be a, a force of positivity. I could care less if you buy something from me, but if I can reach you, you know, you learn something, you find it insightful, maybe you find it relaxing or, you know, puts you at ease and helps you, you know, feel better about your situation, then I consider that a net positive. But, uh, you know, I suppose that pretty much wraps this video up, you know, and I hope this was somewhat uh, educational or informative. And, uh, you know, like I said, you know, we're going to, keep making these videos and trying to be a force of positivity so uh yeah be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more of this and uh i'll be sure to keep them coming but uh that's about it for today guys until next time see ya